Hey guys, so this is the third update for my Project T. My last update, my number two update, was about two months ago, so it has been quite a while. So I have a lot to update you guys in this video. I'm gonna go over my tea empties, you know, the teas I used up that I wanted to focus on that I mentioned in my last video. I have a new group of teas that I wanna focus on. And then I have acquired some teas over the past two months, so I'm also gonna show you guys that. And then finally, I'm gonna give you my numbers for my tea inventory. So a lot of stuff to go over this video, so I'll get started with my tea empties. So I have all my tea empties in this Bath & Body Works bag. So for my last update, I had six different teas I wanted to work on, and I was able to finish most of them. So the first one is an oolong tea. So this is, I can't say the name, so that is the name of it. Just an oolong tea. It was a loose leaf oolong tea. I really did like this. This is something I've been working on since my first um, project tea video. So I worked on it for quite a few months, but now it's finished. So I really liked that. Um, the second tea that I finished was a black tea. This was from Sullivan Street. This is something that I, when did I get this? I think I got this for Christmas last year, actually. Um, but this is the Irish breakfast. I did really, really like this as well. And I love the tin. I definitely will be re reusing it. Um, okay. Then the next tea was a Kaja Blanc Bac Baca. Yeah, I will show you the name of that. And I will have all of the names of the teas listed in the description below if you're interested. But this is like green tea. This one was really good. I just used this at home. Um, so that was really nice. And then I have the Tazo China Green Tips. This is just a good you know, basic green tea. Um, but really good. Um, I brought this one to work. Um, I like having, because these were in individual like tea bags, so it wasn't really a loose leaf tea, so that was perfect to take to work. So I finished that one up. And then I was also working on the Harney and Sons. It was the white vanilla grapefruit. Um, I don't have a box or anything to show you. That I just had individual like tea packets. I had about four of them. So I did finish up that one as well. I just don't have anything to show for that. I should have kept one of the packages, but I didn't think to. And then the last tea that I was working on was my single teas. So last time on my last update, I had six single teas. And if you can tell, I still have them all. So totally failed with using up the single teas and I actually got even more in the meantime. So now I have 10 single teas and I said last time that I just need to take these to work and use them. Um, I didn't obviously and I didn't use them. So tomorrow I'm just going to take those to work with me and just use them. And those are going to be the first teas on my new list of teas to focus on. So definitely have to work on those. I did have one other tea empty that I wanted to share. This wasn't something I was specifically focusing on, but I did want to include all my tea empties in these videos. So the other empty is a, just a Tazo. This is a Wake English breakfast tea, which I do like. I have another one of these at work. Um, but yeah, so I want to share that as well. So those are all the teas that I used up. And now I'll go over the teas I'm going to be working on um, next. And some of these are easier teas, stuff that I definitely think I can finish within the next month. Other things aren't going to be as easy, but I do want to focus on them. And even if they have to be kind of rollover products like that I'm going to have and talk about in a few updates, I'm okay with that. I think as this project goes on that, you know, certain things are going to be harder and it's not practical to use up in a month. But, you know, I still want to focus on using them. So I'm going to start and show you kind of the easier products that I'm going to be focusing on. Oh, the first is my mint tea and all the tea just fell out of the box. But this is from Tazo. It's the Refresh Mint. Um, so that's what the box looks like. I always like having a mint tea on hand. Um, this I have about five... Um, individual tea bags left so it's not going to be that hard to use up and this is something I would repurchase but 
with especially like my herbal teas that I use a lot I do want to use them so I think having them in this project will encourage me to use them and it will help I think with morale to have some easier teas especially since like half of them are easier and then half of them will be harder so I think having something easier will just make me feel better about my progress so I'm gonna work on this and then I have two more easy well a few more easy teas the next ones are both my yogi teas um yogi ones with lavender i should say so i have relaxed mind and the honey lavender stress relief these are ones i've talked about on my channel a lot i really love lavender teas they're really great for like in the evening time so i think relaxed mind i have less of so i have about i think six tea bags left you can see how much i have left there um and then for the honey lavender i have more um you know I think together I have about a box of tea. And these are, again, stuff that I've repurchased, but I do want to use them. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be working on those. And then my last easy tea I'm going to work on, and this is something I actually got from my mom in the past two months. Um, but these are just individual tea um, packets, but there's five of the same type. So I count this as like one individual, like one um, herbal tea versus counting them as the individuals, if that makes sense. So these are from Two Leafs Tea Company and it's organic palm berries and it's an herbal tea, but just a berry kind of herbal tea. So I'm also going to focus on using up these because I think they're better. Um, these are more of a kind of summery. I know summer's ending, but I'd rather kind of use them now than I don't think I'm going to use them as it gets more into fall and winter. So I want to use up those now. And then the next four teas that I want to focus on are the ones that are going to be harder and ones I don't think is possible to use up in a month, but I do want to start focusing on them. So firstly, I have the Mighty Leaf. This is the Orange Dulce. This is a black tea. And this one I got in New York when I went this spring. I just opened the box, but it does expire. It's best by December of this year. So I do really want to start focusing on using this. I've had this before, I really like it. It's really great like flavored black tea. So I wanna start focusing and using this and hopefully use this one up by the end of the year since it does, um, or since it's best by December. So be working on that. And then I have another one I got in New York when I went this spring. This is another Sullivan Street tea. This is Japanese Banka. And this is 24 tea bags. So this, they're um, individual tea bags. This is what I'm gonna bring to work and I'm still in the packaging and I put it in, um, like recycled a Tazo tin to put the tea in. Um, but I'm gonna bring this to work with me. That really worked for my other Tazo tea, the China green tips. So um, I think this will work for me using up this green tea. A lot of the green teas I have are loose leaf, which is not really practical for work, but I think this one will work really well for me to bring it with me to work. Um, how many times can I say work anyway? So I'm going to be working on that. Obviously one more anyway. Um, and then the next one is Essentia. It's another green tea. I'll show you the name of that. Um, this one I just opened today. Um, it's a loose leaf green tea. Um, you don't get like a ton with it. Um, but a lot of my green teas are flavored. So for those, I kind of want to, at this point at least, I just kind of want to, you know, use what I'm feeling or what I'm kind of in the mood for. But I do want to focus specifically on this. Um, it's not a flavored green tea. It's just kind of a basic, not basic, but just kind of a plain green tea, not, no type of flavoring or anything. So I do want to focus on this. And this is one... Again, it's best for it's best before June 2015. So I definitely want to focus on it, um, especially considered at this point it's past its best by date. I think with tea, though, you know, it's not like food that it gets expired. Um, you know, tea is like loose leaf, so it can get a little stale. But I don't think I need to freak out over it being a few months past its best by date, and I'll still work and use it up. But I definitely want to start. Um, using it up at this point. Um, and then the last tea that I'm going to work on 
is something I don't know how long this one's going to take me to finish up, but I do want to focus on it. Another Sullivan Street Tea. This is in the White Melon flavor. And this I got way too much of when I was there. I got three ounces. Um, I think you can buy it by the ounce. I don't know if there's a minimum. I should have gotten like one ounce of this just because I have so much of it now. Now this, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish up. I don't know if I can even finish it up this year, but I just want to start using it more. Um, so I just want to have it as a tea to focus on just to get me to start using it more. Um, knowing that it might take months for me to finish up. So that one I'm also going to work on. So in total with the single teas that I'm also going to focus on, I have nine teas to focus on. You know, some of them will be things I think I'll be able to finish by the next update, and then I'll have other things that I'm going to have to, you know, work on over the next few months. So that is what I'm going to be working on. And then I wanted to, to show you teas that I've acquired over the past two months. Um, frankly, I've gotten a lot more teas than I should have, um, considering I'm doing this project tea, but I want to just show you everything um yeah some of it is gifts I'll just put that disclaimer out but yeah I did end up with a lot more than I would have liked so firstly I have um teas that I got in Spain these are two different flavored um green teas this one's a more kind of floral um flavored green tea and then this one is more fruity flavored green tea um and they are in Bath and Body Works, like little candle holders. So I got these and I gave um, like half to my mom and I kept the other half. So together it's just one. Um, but anyway, you know. So I got those from Spain. So more green tea that I really didn't need, but you know. Um, and then when I got home from Spain, I was like sick. So I got some um tea for my throat this is from twinings this is the lemon and ginger it's an herbal tea this was really nice i really really enjoyed it um i'm glad i got it because it really did help out my throat um so i don't have much of it left but i'm gonna kind of wait and use this i think more in the winter or as i get sick again because i seem to always get sick so definitely we'll use this up at some point but did get that one and then I did get the two leaves, which I'm going to focus on. That's something that I got from my mom, so that was a gift. Um, and then for work, my dad went to Taiwan. He brought me back this little tea set, and he brought me back a tea as well. This is the jasmine green tea. So I got that, and it's really cute. It's just a little bit of tea. Um, it's loose leaf. So I thought that was really cute. So I'm really glad that he got me that. And then finally, my mom had a gift card to a tea store um, near where she lives, and she graciously shared it with me. So we went and picked out some teas. Um, with a gift card, we were both able to get four teas each. So got some more tea that way as well. So what I got was a ginger peach tea. This is a, oh, it's not gonna focus, but this is a black tea. Um, with the kind of a ginger and peach flavoring. It's really good. It's not too strong of a black tea, like not too overpowering. So I do really like this. Um, I got some green teas. Um, this one is Jamaica, Jen May Cha, Jamaica. Um, again, I'll have all these tea names listed um, in the description below. But this is green tea and then roasted brown rice. I've had this type of tea before. Um, super good. So I'm really glad that I got this. Um, then I got a Moroccan mint. And I really love mint tea, as I've mentioned before. I didn't realize this one actually has green tea. All the other mint teas that I have are just herbal teas. So I just assume this was an herbal tea. But this one has green tea, so it's not ideal because I do like having um, mint tea like after dinner and I don't like having caffeinated tea too late in the day. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to use that one, but I'm, I haven't tried this one yet. I'm interested to try like what it tastes like, but 
Yeah, I got that one. And then finally, I got an herbal tea. This is a Barefoot is the name of it. And it's just a mixture. It has raspberry leaf, um, spearmint, nettle, and just a bunch of other um, kind of herbs. So, yeah. So, got a lot more tea than I would have liked. But, you know, that's why I need to do this Project T and continue to do this Project T. Um, so lastly, I want to share with you my tea inventory, how I'm doing there. So for green teas, currently I have 10. So definitely have acquired a lot of green teas recently. Um, and I have about double of my ideal. My ideal for green tea would be about four or five. So definitely have a lot of work to do there. For black tea, I'm doing pretty good for black tea. Actually, all the other categories, I'm doing pretty good. It's mainly the green tea that it's the struggle. Anyway, for black tea, I have six. My ideal there would be three or four. So I'm closing in on my ideal for black tea. And especially with, you know, working on this black tea. Um, and if I finish one other, I'd be at my ideal. So pretty close with black tea. Herbal tea. My last update, I'd actually met my goal for herbal tea, and now I've exceeded um, the numbers I want there. So for herbal tea, my deal would be nine, or no, currently I have nine herbal teas, and then my deal would be eight. So I'm just over my ideal, um, but I think it would be pretty easy for me to get back to the ideal. There are a lot of teas that I'm working on um, that are going to be easier for like the next month are herbal teas. I definitely think I'll be able to get back to my ideal number there. For white tea, um, I have one. My ideal is one, so I'm good there. Oolong, I currently have zero. My ideal would be zero to one, so I'm good with oolong. Well, of course, I have zero. Um, then for, I can never say the name of this tea, Guasua, Guasia, something like that. I have one, um, my ideal would be zero, so I have to figure out a way to work on my tea like that. And then for single teas, I currently have 10. My ideal there would just be zero, so definitely need to work on those as well. So I know that was a lot, but that's my update. I will update you guys in a month with how I did on the teas that I'm going to work on. Hopefully... I won't buy any more teas in the next month, but you never know. But hopefully I can do good with that. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye.